Welcome everyone to Microsoft Flight Simulator and another video on the channel. I reckon this definitely will be the last one of the year, but I just had to get one more video of the Apara 5K out because I've had so many questions uh, about this headset. Now I'm still using the really crappy NOLO tracking solution, uh, which means that you know you might see plenty of tracking problems in this video, but ignore that because once you get your unit, you will hopefully have the Steam VR Lighthouse tracking solution, which works flawlessly. Okay, as well as that new cable as well, because I'm using the DisplayPort 1.2 cable, which means I'm using 60 hertz at 4K. Um, but there's a few things I want to mention here, right? I've had so many emails and comments asking me, how does this compare against the Vario Aero? Well, actually, it doesn't, guys. I'm sorry, but the Vario Aero is absolutely much better than this. It's better than any other headset, even the VR3, if I'm honest. Um, but that's expected, okay? It's more money. And the areas that it does fall down in are these, okay? The first one being those colors, even though they're beautifully deep, and of course, at nighttime, you get the most perfect blacks. I'm actually flying in the middle of summer right now in terms of, well, obviously it's the winter in the UK, but in terms of the preset of the sim, I'm trying to get this sim to look as bright as I possibly can, because that is where this headset does lack a little bit in terms of the brightness and just the vivid colors. When compared to the likes of even the Reverb G2, not only that, um, there is a tiny amount, I mean, there's no slightest amount of God rays with this headset, but honestly, it's hardly worth mentioning, but I will mention that in case someone does notice and you know, you'd be like, oh, hang on, you didn't say anything about it. Well, you know, it's compared to say the Reverb D2 or any other Fresnel based headset, flying at night in this is absolutely friggin' jaw dropping. It's better than any other headset, okay? And that slight bit of reflection isn't an issue at all, but I thought I'd best mention it anyway. But I think the big thing for me that sets this apart, sorry, sets the Aero apart from the Apara is the edge-to-edge -edge clarity. You get pretty much 90% of the entire display completely clear. Even with this pancake design, there is still a sweet spot, okay? It, it reminds me a little bit of the 8KX in terms of the sweet spot, which isn't a bad thing actually, because it's still very, very clear, but it's not edge-to-edge -edge clarity like you probably might expect uh, with that pancake lens design. And there goes the tracking. <laughs> oh my goodness me. But it's fine, don't just ignore the tracking guys because it, it will be fine once it's fixed. By the way, this is the Quest Kodiak by Simworks Designs. Uh, I have a review on the channel of this beautiful, exquisite turboprop. I mean, it is the best turboprop we have right now. Uh, and what a treat to end the year. It's really beautiful. So what I'm going to do now actually is just put a bit of through the lens footage in using a phone might I add of the cockpit of the Kodiak uh, and as you can see it looks absolutely stunning not just the sort of close-up detail of the G1000 but also all the details and textures and far away you know when you look outside you can really see a lot further out and that reminds me very much of the Aero and that's thanks to the pancake lens design um, you can see objects and other aircraft really clear. But now what I'll do is I'll switch now to nighttime, and that is where the Apara 5K really excels. As you can see there, hopefully it'll come across fairly well because, you know, through the lens footage is very challenging. But flying at night, you get pure blacks, as I said before, and that is where it just blows away any other headset. Of course, that is expected. In fact, what I'm going to do now, actually, is uh, change the uh, time of day because you know when I go to sort of sunset or sunrise that is where I just could fly for the rest of the night it just it just looks so good and looking there at the ground I can really pick out every single building every light every tree very much like the aero but I have to say you know I want this to be very very clear that this does not compete against the Aero, but then remember the Aero is the top of the line VR headset. It's also a lot more money. This, however, is a viable sort of wild card, shall I say, 
of the likes of other Fresnel based headsets. If, if you want to get close to the Varia Aero, but you know, can't really afford it, then this could be a possible solution for you. Absolutely. No doubt about it, in fact. Um, that display is just insanely gorgeous. So really, before I wrap up this little video, I just want to say a few other things that's really cool about the Apara 5K, which I totally forgot to mention before. It has diopter adjustments. So if you are a glasses wearer, you do not need to worry because you can dial in your own prescription lens. And that is pretty much a game changer, to be honest, in terms of uh, the headsets that are out at the moment. There's not hardly anything out there on the market that provides that. Uh, also, the form factor, as I've mentioned before, is super, super light. It's properly light. It's unfortunate that the face pad that I'm using is very hard wearing. It hurts after a while, unfortunately. Um, so at the moment, I'm actually wearing it fairly loose, and then I can wear it for about an hour, no problem. But there is a new uh, face pad that they're going to ship out, and it looks a lot better. So really, the problems of the Apara, most of them can be fixed and will be, and that is the tracking, the cable, the refresh rate, uh, the comfort, all these things will be sorted. So I do feel that this is a headset that's definitely worth watching uh, in the early part of next year. And I will give you my full review once Apara send me out the 1.4 display cable and of course the tracking solution. But even with it like this at the moment, right, with the really dodgy tracking, and the refresh rate, which, you know, it's not too bad actually. Even at 60 hertz, it's bearable. That display is absolutely fabulous. It is incredible. And I cannot emphasize enough what it's like when you're flying at nighttime or even, you know, the daytime flights. It's not that bad, guys. I don't think you'll be that concerned. Look at that for a scene. Wow. <laughs> that is beautiful. As is this aircraft by Simworks Designs. So as we fly off into the sunset, let's just uh, basically recap. And just to say that the Para 5K, there is a lot to like about this headset, but there's a few little niggling problems that I hope will be fixed soon. And look at that, you see the airliner there going across the sun. That was quite an epic scene, that wasn't it? Wow. Um, and obviously, you know, these sorts of flights in conditions like this with the sunset, there is no better headset out there to provide you those deep colors. But I, you know, I still think that the Riva G2 um, has a better display when it comes to just the vivid colors and the brightness of that panel. Um, and of course, you've got that better audio solution and inside out tracking. So it's not an easy decision to make really. But uh, if you want that pancake design and micro OLED display in better form factor, it absolutely is the Apara 5K. Once the tracking solution is there, uh, and we can get 90 hertz at 5k, or sorry, 70 hertz at 5k, um, that will also be a welcome addition, without a doubt. Oh, it's coming back again, look at this. Right over the top. <laughs> Fantastic. That is one gorgeous scene right there. And you know, if I compare this again, as I've mentioned before, to the Vario Aero, the thing that really strikes me about the Aero is the edge-to-edge -edge clarity. It's like 90%, and that is due to the aspheric lens design and those colors as well, which are absolutely like 99% accurate. So I don't think it's fair to compare this against the Aero, particularly because of the price point. But I do feel that this probably is the closest you're gonna get to the Aero for a much cheaper sort of price point. Um, and that really is it. That's all I'm going to say, guys, for this video. And this definitely will be the last one of the year. It's been an amazing time on the channel. I've reviewed the Vive Pro 2, uh, the 8KX, many other headsets, including the VR3, the Aero, and now the Apara. But I'm not really fully reviewing this until I get the tracking module, of course, and that cable, which I'm really excited to see. But it definitely has a lot of promise. And actually, as we fly off into the sunset, that seems to be the perfect metaphor for this year. It has been an amazing time. And I wish all of you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you so much for all your support. And I'll see you again in 2022. Take care and bye for now.